We were here in Russian territory to back up a U.S. counterintelligence operation. A simple support mission, they said. Nothing's ever really that simple, though. Is it? I can't believe you're leading us through another minefield, Haggett. You all are some stupid people. Hey, they're former down there. Marlow. How much time? Hand off, say, five. No problem. We're there in three. GPS is getting no strikes on our guy down there. Are you sure he's here, Sarge? Yeah, if HQ didn't fuck us with old intel. What are the odds of that? Whatever. We're almost clear. Annie up. That was fucking magic, Sarge. You got my back for real. You don't die on my last mission. Marlo, you got a point. Our guy's gonna be out there all alone if we don't hurry up. Let's go. So here we are, Battlefield Bad Company 2, single player. Do you know what? Graphics are still, in their own kind of not photorealistic way, are actually really good even now. Can you believe that this game came out five years ago? My god, how time flies. Absolutely flies. If you've watched my other video, you'll know that I said that this game was, for me, one of the best multiplayer games I've played in a long wait, wait. time. Definitely a long on time. Squeeze on my one. Three. Two. One. As you can see, I'm actually running this at maximum settings, including I think it's 16 times AA and all the gubbins up at the top. And I can tell you now that uh, Fraps is telling me that this is running at oh, 190 frames a second. So you can't turn your nose up at that, can you? When I've been in playing Armour 3 on some of these 16A nights, I'm getting down to you know an average average frame rate of around 20 to 25. So jumping into something that's this silky smooth is brilliant. And that's what you want for multiplayer, isn't it? Yeah, it is one of my all-time favourite multiplayer games, and I really enjoyed the first one on the 360. I wish they would have released that for the PC, it was absolutely brilliant. So, let's get across and kick some ass. Oh shit, that's our agent. My scope. Archangel, this is Bravo 2. I got eyes on vehicle and possible HVT subject. Copy that, too. No, no, oh shit! Fucking... Archangel, requesting kill on subject ASAP. Sarge? Archangel, he's mobile. Bravo 2 Actual, hold your fire. Hold your fire. I had him! Let the piece of shit go! You ain't got shit on no one unless I see you do. Simmer the fuck down. Your time will come. Archangel, subject is gone. Vehicle is still present. Bravo 2 Actual, the town has been declared hostile. Secure the vehicle. That's a solid copy, Archangel. Out. You heard the man. Dice said that they really didn't know what it was about this game okay. that people loved. Well, it's probably the closeness of the combat, the destruction as a big part of it. And for this single player version, I, I think the, the humour was great in the second one, but I think it was even better in the first one. And the actual characters you fight with, they had a real character, it was funny, it was something different. And I think that brought a lot to the single player campaign. Whereas Battlefield 3 or 4, I don't even... Can you remember any of the names of them? I, I can't. Um, pretty unforgettable, really. 
Battlefield 4 wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, the, the ability here just to blast through that wall and jump through is brilliant, especially in multiplayer. I really don't understand why Battlefield 4 took a step back in its destruction, but it did, and that's what we ended up with. So let's get in here and kick a little bit of ass and um, get that 2 or 3 down and a few rounds out. And, uh, ooh, nearly got killed. Um, and let's push on up. I did mention before in the other video about the audio in this game. I think for its time, the audio in this game was way ahead of anything else that had come out, even Battlefield 2. Um, yeah, really, uh, the audio is, is as, much, as much important as it is to the graphics, which is why when I play on the 3, I like to have JSRS Dragonfire or uh, Speed of Sound Pure, those kind of things, because they really do make the game much more visceral and much more exciting just by changing the actual audio clips. Now a couple of my friends said that they'd seen the first video and they've decided to re-download Bad Company 2 because it is a bit of a it is a gem and it's a bit of a forgotten classic. We moved on and we, you know we play other games now. But if you're wanting a game that's real good fun in multiplayer, uh, send me a PM, add me on Steam, and uh, let's have a game and uh, stick a stick together as a squad and uh, kick some ass. Because so far, single player, I'm going back through. I'm really enjoying it. I'm not going to upload them all. I just thought I would upload this mission. And um, multiplayer, yeah, makes a nice change from the seriousness uh, and in-depth complexities of uh, Armour 3, that's for sure. Remember in Battlefield 4, it was so much of a grind to get all the extra kit and things. And I seem to remember now with most of these weapons, there's only like three or four scopes, um, a few different attachments and gadgets and this. Even though it was a long game, I remember it was 70, 80 hours to unlock some of the stuff, it didn't feel like it went on forever with constantly upgrading just to unlock a piece of shit that you were never going to use anyway. Um, I think I preferred the unlock system to this one as well. So as you can tell, I'm I'm not hating on Battlefield 4. It's just a game where when the new expansions came out, I just really wasn't bothered about playing them. And I think that says a lot about a multiplayer game when you're not that excited, or even if you want to come back in. I, I am going to re-download Battlefield Vietnam. I think it's an extra six quid on top. Great fun. I seem to remember the flamethrowers and all the other little bits in there. I absolutely loved it. So. Uh, my next video I'm probably going to upload some, maybe one match of multiplayer in Vietnam and give you a little bit of commentary on how we remember how good it was. Such a pity DICE didn't want to release 1943 because again that was a, was a great bit of fun was that one as well. Well, that kind of brings us to the end of this video. I did put out a little bit of the multiplayer overview in the last one, and this video really was just to have another look at the single player and how much fun it was. If you're thinking of down re downloading the game, or if you're thinking of getting Vietnam, as I said before, leave your uh, username, your Steam username, or your origin username down in the box below, and let's uh, arrange to have a game one night and uh, let's blow some shit up. In the meantime, I've been Para for Armour Universe. Thanks for watching. I shall see you on the battlefield soon. More Armour 3 videos coming real soon. Bye bye. Whoa. Now this is interesting. It's a fake what you found. Fake, sir? A dummy. We think it's a dry run. 
For what exactly, sir? They're building a weapon. What we know about it so far scares the shit out of us. What we don't know scares us a lot more. So we need more intel. We needed it last week. That's where you... Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Listen, I need this done ricky-tick. I got nine other units and shit so deep they've forgotten what the sun looks like. So, you work for us now. We want you to do what you do best. Be unorthodox. Be lethal. If you do that, you can go home. All of you can go home. Sir, what, what do you mean, home? Uh, home? Home, sir? Yep. Can you do that for me? We can do that, sir. Now, this object you found, we got an asset in Bolivia. This is his specialty. Name's Aguirre. Give him this. Oh, welcome to Special Activities Division. What just happened? I think my retirement just got postponed. That's what just happened. Again. Special Activities Division? Hell fucking yes! Olivia, 